So if you guys watched my last video, you saw where I introduced you to the new Defender 110 that we are going to build here on the channel. One thing I'm really curious to see is what this thing will sound like with an exhaust. Now keep in mind it has the 3.0 liter supercharged turbocharged and it is a mild hybrid. So it should sound pretty cool, but it is muffled down like crazy. So today we'll find out what it takes to make it sound like it should. So we're gonna do a cold start on the Defender right now, that way you guys know what it sounds like from the factory. So you'll see we've got the big suitcase muffler right there and it actually goes on back to what looks like a mid muffler or a resonator. And then beyond that, we've just got our catalytic converters. So I don't see a secondary resonator, just the one resonator and then the big suitcase muffler. So what I'm thinking is that we'll be able to do just a muffler delete and make it sound a lot better. Of course, it's still gonna have that mid muffler or the resonator, but I want this to be not as loud as my typical vehicles, simply because this is what we use for the baby hauler. We don't want it to be too awful loud, but I still want it to sound really good. So I think a muffler delete will be the perfect solution to get that sound we're looking for, but we'll find out soon enough. If you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you'll know I always bring my stuff to Ray's Custom Exhaust here in Murfreesboro. So if you need anything, I definitely recommend these guys. They do it right every single time. Well guys, we've got it all done and I must say it sounds way better. Now, what we actually did just in the meantime is we just ran a three inch pop straight out and did a single outlet. And for now, I think that's gonna be perfect. Of course, if we were to do a split right there, it didn't really have enough room without getting the proper equipment. So if I want to upgrade the exhaust later, I definitely can and I can get the true exhaust online, but I wanted to see what this would actually sound like. And for a hundred bucks, I don't think you can beat it. So I'm gonna set the camera up back here that way you guys can hear it. picks it up but you can hear the turbo way way better and the exhaust note the tone itself sounds really good now whenever you're actually inside just cruising i actually do have it in sport mode right now to be fair it's pretty mild and whenever you stomp on it it's not very loud on the inside so it's almost exactly what i wanted now to be able to get an exhaust set up like this to where you can really hear it whenever you're getting on it, but you don't hear it hardly at all whenever you're driving is really hard. And a lot of that is due in part to the sound deadening. The Land Rovers are just really quiet on the inside and the Defender is no exception, but it is nice to be able to get that perfect combination of hearing it when you want to and not hearing it when you don't. Now, ever since I bought this thing, I've had a weird rattle, some kind of weird noise right up here in the front corner of the passenger side of the vehicle. At first, I thought maybe it, it almost sounds like speaker static, but I don't think that's it. I looked in the engine bay and it does look like in one of those little corners, it's got some leaves there, so maybe that's it, but it's a weird noise that you wouldn't think leaves could make. It's not a constant sound. It does come in waves. It seems like the wind does affect it pretty heavily. So I don't know if it's just a trim piece out there 
the way that it's designed just like in the Jeep Wrangler we get that weird wind noise but I'm gonna try to figure it out today so I've got all this taken apart right here to try to see in there to see if I can see anything those are the leaves I was talking about there were a few more I blew them out and I can't seem to get those out but I can't find what is actually making the noise the only thing I can figure is this right here where it has the lip right there maybe it's catching the wind and making a weird noise and it does have a little bit of movement you can see that right there um i'm not exactly sure it almost sounds like maybe this piece is hitting it or it's got something in between it i don't know but i cannot figure it out it doesn't seem like it's coming from the inside because the way that this inside is set up it's extremely rigid so there's not any movement on any of these pieces in here the only thing that moves is the actual a pillar cover um, and it's not moving enough to make that noise and it's not the right material. So I'm not exactly sure. And then, like I say, it kind of sounds like it's coming from this speaker, but I don't think it is because whenever you put your ear next to it, it's not coming from that actual speaker. Well, now I'm gonna take it on a road trip to get a little bit more familiar with this machine. Like I've told you guys again and again, I'm not really familiar with Land Rovers or the Defender in general. So this will be a great opportunity to get to know it a little bit better. Take it on about a two hour trip, mostly interstate driving, see how it drives, see how it feels. And I'll know quite a bit more about the vehicle to give you guys my honest opinion. One thing that is pretty apparent right off is gonna be the wind noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'll try to let you hear it. It's not just the typical wind noise we're used to in the Jeep, it's a little bit different. It's that noise I was telling you about before and I tried to track down. It almost sounds like the seals around the windshield, around the actual A-pillars themselves, just don't keep the wind out. And it gives it like a rattle, almost like what you would expect to hear from a busted speaker but it's really quiet obviously if you turn a little bit of music on you don't really hear it but it's still extremely annoying so if any of you guys know a fix for that drop it down in the comments below It only seemed fitting to take the safari vehicle to the zoo. And now we've made it back. That was about a four hour trip there and back. So it was a little long. It was mostly highway interstate driving and the Defender performed amazingly well. It handled really good at the higher speeds on the interstate, but also had a lot of passing power. And aside from that, the suspension handled really well the whole time. Now, some of the things I did notice is this is basically just a fancy Jeep with not as capable off-road suspension. So you still get a lot of the creaks on the inside. So you hear that kind of like a Jeep and the wind noise was pretty horrible. I'm not gonna lie. All around the windshield right through here, I don't know what's wrong with it. It could have bad seals, whatever the case may be, but I'm gonna figure out. The wind noise was horrible and that's something I need to get addressed immediately. Now, as for the exhaust, it sounded great whenever you wanted to hear it, but whenever you're just driving normally, especially with your cruise control set, you would really have to try really hard to hear it. Do you like the Defender? Yeah. Now I've got some really exciting things coming for this Defender extremely soon. Yeah. I've already got a two inch lift, some relocation brackets, as well as some 35s on the way. So we're gonna test this out and see what we can get away with on this new machine. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see next. But until then, Godspeed.